Hello, I'm GND and the Insane, and we're going to be kicking some ass in Shadowrun Returns. Oh yes, Pike Place Market. Uh, back to where the drinks are expensive, and you're less likely to get stabbed in the throat. I hope. I don't know, I kind of want some, uh, some fights, you know. It's been a while since I've smashed someone's face in with my fists. I think I'm going to concentrate on fists. I like the fists. I mean, it's good when I've got the, um... The uh, machete as well. That's really handy. But punching people in the face. Now that. That's fun. Come on. Load on up. Load on up. Now. Load on up. Come on now. Load on up. Get on the scene. Load on up. Like a computer machine. Um, <laughs> for, you to know, for those of you join us and change the world. For those of you know who know how that song ends, complete it in the comments. Patrick. The handsome young man turns away from the crowd and fixes you with his full, completely undivided attention. Mom, you are a beautiful troll, but you could be so much more. Uh, what are you selling? I'm not selling anything. We are giving away the secrets to more fulfilling, happy, and productive life. Alright, I'll bite. What are the secrets to more filling, fulfilling, happy, and productive life? The first step is to simply come and listen. Tomorrow night, Lynn Telestrian will be speaking about the importance of the family in the sixth world. Please join us tomorrow, and the secrets to a better life shall be revealed to you. He smiles and turns back to the crowd. Can I punch him? I really want to punch him, in the f just just in the neck, you know. Yeah, I won't even break his face, just just right in the neck. I'll be refurbished flowers for sale. I'll take some. Can I not take some? Uh, synth juice for sale, just fab today. I fabbed today. Uh, what, no. Paco! 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 The, uh, he's looking for her too. The kid in front of you sports the trademark, uh, yellow, the Cutters Gang. Young, clean shaven, he stands like his own. He owns a street and everyone on it. He seems distracted though, glancing around with increasing agitation. He looks over as you approach. Watch yourself, Trog. What do you want? You wouldn't happen to be looking for a coyote, would you? That's n uh, ooh, that's none of your fragging business. Who the hell are you? Um, uh, let's see. I'm Lady Eldritch. I'm looking for Kyoti. I need uh, to ask her some questions. I'm the one who's going to pretend you have better manners. I need to find Kyoti. Relax, you're on the same team. I'm Lady Eldritch. I was just at the Union. Your girlfriend's gone missing, and I'm helping to find her. Helping to find her. The tough guy swagger seems to drain out of Paco. The cutter is gone. Before you, st uh, before you stands a kid in a yellow jacket that doesn't quite fit. Koji's missing. Oh man, that would explain. She's supposed to meet me here over an hour ago. Look, sorry for getting in your face like that. What else do you know? If she's missing, I need to find her. Good kid. Well, she he has priorities. Uh, do you know a fixer named Mr. Delilah? Koji had a meeting with him a few days ago. Uh, ever heard a place called Mori's Meat Market? Kyoto, uh, Kyoto had a receipt for some zebra meat from the market. From, uh, meat from there. Let's go to the, uh, to the fixer first. I know him, sure. Blake doesn't allow any cutters to take gigs, though. So I got no reason to deal with him. Kyoto hadn't said anything about taking new work. Wait a minute. Drake! I know where she went. Damn, why couldn't she have... Why she wait? Damn it! Paco, slow down. Where did she go? The Royal Apartments. The Landlord. Stevie J. He runs a drug ring out of that hellhole. Kyoto grew up there. Doesn't like to talk about it much. She'd been looking for a way to settle a score with that guy for years. A few days back, Mr. Delilah uh, was looking and for runners to steal some sort of item from under Stevie J's nose. She must have taken the job. I'm sure of it. But if the th his thugs caught her... There's a grim determination in Paco's eyes. I'm going over there. You coming? Um... Is it's that? Uh, one more thing. Koti had a receipt for some zebra market, uh, zebra meat from a place called Mori's Meat Market. Have you heard of it? Zebra meat. What? Look, that shop's just down a block. If you want to check it out, but it's going to be royal with or without your help. What's it going to be? Um, I'll handle. Uh, I'll help you get Koti back, but you better be able to handle yourself in a fight. Things might get ugly. 
Of course, I know my way around a fight. CVG better be ready for a world of hurt. Paco kills his hand into a fist. Let's get moving. The Royal is just a few blocks from here. Um. Okay, I got some... Uh, I'm going to go to the Moorish Meat Emporium. But I got uh, quite a few um, karma here. So let's go uh, increase our punchy in the face. Uh, let's see. Melee weapons, unarmed. Increase our melee weapons. Um... Never when using it, so it's an increase. That increases uh, how much strength we have, so that's good. Um, okay, confirm. That's a, that's a good, good, good start. What are you good at? Uh, close combat. Um, quickness. He's very, very quick, and he's got uh, quite good charisma, actually. Okay, so he's a. Um, let's go to. Optional, find the meat emporium. Always watching. That's troubling. Eeeh. Okay. Uh, kinda gross, this place. D is that a pig? Uh, um. I got dog, dog on a stick. Eeeh. I had a dog on a stick once. I was walking him. Money! A uh, small meat stand presents an enormous diversity of dead animals, from cow and canine to the exotic and paranormal. Paranormal? I want a paranormal one. Um, the pictures of this, um, the pictures on the back of the stand feature a much older version of the man in front of you. Older? Manny. Uh, as soon as he notices Paco, the proprietor's eyes become hard and angry. What do you want? You know I can't. Af we can't afford more. Relax, man. My friend needs to use an, uh, just. Uh, my friend just has a question. Everything cool here? Yeah, everything's swell. Manny continues to stare daggers in Paco's direction. The name's Manny. Now what do I want? Now what do you want? Uh, what would someone buy, want to buy zebra meat for? Some people eat it. Paul Walker wouldn't recommend that. Tough as nails. We mostly sell it to corp security teams who use it as a reward for hellhounds. The flamers go crazy if the stuff for some reason. Oh, Drek! That's why Coyote wants a zebra meat. Everyone talks about the pet hellhound Stevie J keeps locked up somewhere in the Royal. And if she picked it up... Whatever. Anything else? Do you know someone named Coyote? Nope. I don't go out much for that shaman stuff. A uh, receipt for the order of zebra meat. Still have it uh, for me? Uh, I'll lock it up. Yeah, got it right here. Two days past the pickup time. Didn't think anyone would come for it. Here, it's all yours now. What's your problem with Paco? Why don't you ask him? What the hell is that supposed to mean? It means your gang likes to stroll through here and relieve us merchants of our new inn. My dad's still out some, and he's still in hospital. Look, that's not my problem. I'm the bottom of the cutter ranks anyway. I couldn't do Drek about that, even if I wanted to. Tell yeah, that to my dad. I don't have time for this. We need to find Cody. Uh, you're right, Paco. Let's get going. I think that was the last question anyway. Thank you for your time, Mr. Dwarf. Uh... Ew. As your eyes adjust to the flashing lights, you spot a body of a woman, dead on the pavement behind the police line. Panic spreads across Paco's face. Oh, oh, oh no, is that Coyote? Th this isn't happening. God damn it! Um, Paco, breathe. Now take a closer look. Is that her? Paco steps forward and breathes a huge sigh of relief. No. No, it's not her. Thank God. Look, there's not. let's not hang around here too long, alright? Too many Lone Star pigs around. Paco looks her over the victim at the victim again. It's not too bad. Whatever happened here, I'm not going to let the anything like this happen to Coyote. Uh, Officer Landers. Another Ripper murder. The Ripper took her eyes. Leaving Seattle, I've seen her at the shack. It's Corp Hitler. Who is it? Uh, I think I'm going to be sick. Oh God, there's. Oh, I wish I could zoom in. I want to have a look at the eyeless face. A tall, emotionless Lone Star officer blocks entry to the crime scene. Behind her, you spot the lively face of the organ grinder's coroner, Dresden. Hey, it's Dresden. This is an active Lone Star investigation. Please step away from the barrier. Uh, what happened here, officer? Homicide. Now move along, please. I'm here to see, con see coroner Dresden. And who might you be? It's alright, officer. She, she's with me. Dresden steps up to the barrier with a bald grin. 
The officer looks at you with a poorly concealed skepticism. Okay, make it quick. Tristan, how are you, my... Ich, Maka. So, what brings you out here? Hot on the trail of Dead Man's Killer. Coincidence, believe it or not. Uh, I tend to take it I've stumbled across another Ripper murder. Yeah, that's what it looks like. As you can see, the Ripper went for the eyes this time. Pretty clean work. I gotta hand it to him. Our Ripper knows what he's doing. Or she, I suppose. What do you know about the victim? Well, not much. Dresden scratches his head absentmindedly, probably breaking some sort of san sanitation protocol. She's been dead for about three hours. Her name is Lucy Warden. Works at the stuffer shack just around the corner. Looks like she was leaving work when it happened. Can you tell if she was subdued in some way, but her eyes were removed? That's the strange thing. There doesn't seem to be any sign of struggle. Not a single bruise on her body. Yet she was clearly alive when her eyes were taken. Died of blood loss shortly thereafter. As to what knocked her out, I won't know until we run some tests back at the lab. I thought you ran the Redmond franchise. Isn't Pike Place a little far from home? Yeah, well, I don't mind a bit of same change of scenery. Dresden laughs. The coroner from the downtown branch is out for on maternity, so I told management that I'd cover for her on this one. Plus, I want this sicko caught. Any sign of magic use here? There was evidence of an unusual explosion in the alley where Sam died. Now there's an interesting thought. No, nothing obvious, though. I'm sure that McClusty shows he'll, he'll call in a full magical forensics team, though, just to be sure. So, the Ripper takes Sam Watt's liver and this woman's eyes. Any theories? The trophies of some sort, I suppose. Probably of some symbolic significance to the killer. Beyond that, I couldn't speculate. That's enough questions. Thanks, dude. Hey, I figure if I help you out, there's a better chance to get this scum back off the streets a little sooner. McCluskey wants the Ripper in a cell, sure, but he couldn't care less if it takes another dozen murders. Good luck out there. Dresden starts to turn back to the body, then stops. Speaking of McCluskey, you should probably get going soon before he turns up. Uh, yeah, Officer Guerre. Officer Funky Beard here. Yeah? The plainclothes Lone Star officer before you sports a tacky hat and a crooked grin to match. Oh my god, is he Gumshoe? Is he Detective Gumshoe from uh, Phoenix Wright? That would be amazing. Um, what can you tell me about the... M oh, wait. Uh, so you're the one who's working for the dead man, eh? But Clasty warned us he might be sniffing around after the river. Like a few, I got here before Clasty. I'm Officer Aguirre. Pleased to meet you. Now, seeing as the crime scene is going nowhere fast, what can I do for you? What can you tell me about the murder that took place here? Uh, not much, really. We know it was about three hours ago. We know that her eyes have been surgically removed. Didn't need Dresden to figure that much out. He's been looking at the body, though, uh, so he might have more. Me? I've been scanning the rest of the scene and looking for witnesses, but no luck so far. Damn Ripper might as well be a ghost. I take it you and McCluskey don't exactly see eye to eye. Let's just say McCluskey and I have conflicting interests. Do you have any leads on the Ripper that I should know about? <laughs> Plenty, if you ask me Clusty. But the truth is, we're as close as you probably are. Thanks for your time, officer. Hey, hold on a minute. You haven't put on donation to the local orphans fund. The Lonely Orphans Fund? Yeah, see, you make a contribution to the fund. I put you on a list, let you know the next time we find any orphans that you might be interested in. Well, I'm always interested in finding out about any new orphans you discover. Excellent. Shall we say 300 new in? Um. Uh. All right. Let's let's go with the uh, 300. All right. His face splits into wide grin. Excellent. I'll start an account for you. If you got any useful new leads on the Ripper, I'll give you a call. Now I better get back around to work before McClusty shows up. See you around. Do I? Did I have 300 new in? Uh. I don't know where uh, where I'm going, able to find that out, honestly. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah, I got plenty new one. Elf. Mmm, informative. Ooh, he looks dodgy. 
The elf standing before you might possibly be the ugliest elf you've ever seen. He has meticulously clean lab coat, formal jacket, uh, and old-fashioned bow tie give him the look of an undertaker for, from centuries past. He notices you approach and locks eyes with you, smiling, thin, unnerving smile. Hello there, stranger. Might I inquire? Do you know which organ grinder's facility this body will be removed to? Um, why would you want to know something like that? The elf giggles, a strange, high-pitched warble you would not expect to emerge from this misshapen face. Oh, just a hobby? Never mind that, there. A good evening to you and your friend, the coroner. <coughs> okay, let's have a talk, Dresden. Uh, Dresden looks up, a grin spread across his face. Need something else? Any fascinating new leads? Did you notice a particularly ugly elf standing over there in the crowd earlier? Huh? Where? Dresden scans the spectators surrounding the crime scene. Um, he's gone now. But he was asking about the body, wondering which organ grinder's facility he will be taken to. Interesting. Well, there's those who might be interested in purchasing some of her parts, sure. But there's pretty poor form to inquire into the site of the murder. An ugly elf here. Eh? I'll keep an eye out. Shouldn't be hard to spot if he comes back around. Sergeant Aguirre over there seems pretty friendly. Can I trust him? He chuckles. Yeah, that sounds about right. Any opportunity to get in McClusty's way, you'll take it. A bit sleazy, sure, but I take a choir of McClusty any day of the week. That's enough questions. Thanks, Dresden. Any time. I've gone back to Welsh for him. I just like the Welsh accent on the... Uh... I'm going to have a look at the body. forgot to have a look at the body. Ooh. Lying on the pavement of this body is a young human female. Her eyes have been gouged cleanly out, and you notice a strain string of bite marks along her left arm. Bite marks, okay. Dresden, sorry to bother you again, man. I'm standing on the corpse. Dresden looks up, a grin spread across his face. Uh, and yeah, fascinated. What about the bite marks on her arm? Ah, completely unrelated. It appears some wild drugs and dogs dragged the body out from an alley some time after her death. Thanks enough. Thanks, uh, that's enough. Thanks for the questions. Eh. Eh. Okay, um. Uh, th that was just gross. Uh, is there anything around here? No? Okay, this is blocked off. Awful lot of homeless around uh, these parts. I suppose there's nothing you really do about that. Except give people homes. But that would be madness. BTL. If that was a BLT, you'd have me. What's BTL? Um. Hey there, big lady. Hey there. How you doing? You doing good? Good. Pigeons! <laughs> I wish you could crush them. Ooh, stun. Stuff, uh, stuffer shack. No way, blind Lucy. Frank. The orc before you wears the standard stuffer shack employee getup. The uniform is well kept and well fitted, with the tears streaming, uh, with the tears streaming down his large, crooked tears. Oh, it is tears. Tears streaming down his large, crooked face uh, do little to improve his appearance. He does not seem to notice your approach. Um, I take it to you, the victim. Yeah, was it to you? My condolences. Were you too close? Thanks. Sorry, we're just not used to folks being too friendly around here. The orc wipes some tears away with a dirty napkin. Yeah, we were pretty close, as co-workers go. Blind Lucy and I worked at the shack for three years together. Started on the very same... Blind Lucy. Okay. Blind Lucy. So her eyes were useless. And then there was Sam Watts. His liver was removed. His liver would have been horribly, horribly... Uh, like, disfigured after years of drinking. This person taking parts of bodies that don't work anymore. Well, Lucy wasn't completely blind, but she was legally blind. She had to wear these huge glasses and hold things up right up to her face. But she got new eyes about a year ago. Did Sam Watch get a new liver? Maybe they're taking the body parts back. Any idea how she scored the new eyes? No, she wouldn't talk much about it. Just called it her stroke of good luck. Guess that luck ran out. Seen anyone strange in the store lately? I see weird stuff every day. It's the stuffer shack. But, no, nothing stranger than usual. Did Lucy have any enemies? 
Well, I'm not so sure. I know she had an ugly breakup with her boyfriend after getting those new eyes put in. The guy was pretty upset for some reason and wouldn't leave Lucy B until she filed her first restraining order. It all seemed to die down a while ago, though. When was the last time you saw Lucy? Here at the shack earlier tonight. I think she was heading to the market to meet a friend. Hell, I was going to join her on the way home. We got uh, some last minute customers. That's all I needed to know. Thanks for your help, and I'm sorry for your loss. Wait, you wouldn't happen to be a part of the uh, you wouldn't happen to be part of the investigation, would you? Uh, I'm on my way. Why do you ask? Well, Lucy had this necklace and she had an intricate little carving of a dragonfly on it. Wore it every day. So her mom gave it to her when she left Denver. Anyway, you know how Lone Star is. All that stuff will be bagged and placed in evidence storage until the seventh world awakens. Just thought. Well, I just thought if you get somehow get that necklace back before Lone Star cleans everything up, I could send it back to her family. I feel like I owe her that much. I understand. If I find it at the scene, I'll bring it to you. Sorry, tampering the evidence could uh, put me in a bad spot to Lone Star. Can't risk it. Stealing evidence from a crime scene is a pretty serious offense. What's in it for me? I understand. Thanks for your help, friend. You know where to find me. Right, let's go get this dead girl's necklace back. I mean, if there was any relevance to it, it... I wouldn't, but it's a necklace. Is this what we need to talk to you a bit more about, uh, Dresden? Uh, nope. Okay. So just... Uh... Catch the attention of the nearby officer. Uh, you scan the ground near Lucy's body and you spot a small wooden object, mostly hidden beneath the dead woman's hair. This must be the necklace Frank was talking about. A thin broken cord trails off to one side. Must have snapped during the struggle. Uh, don't have the quickness, so let's catch the attention of uh, Officer Aguirre. Hello again, can I help you? I need to take the victim's necklace with me. It may help in my investigation. Well, if it'll help you, that means it won't be helping with Clusty. Officer Aguirre reaches down, picks up the necklace and hands it to you. Yeah, sure thing. Good luck out there. Okay. So, d just want to double check Dresden. I wanted to see if he uh, had anything more to say, like I could offer him the necklace and he'd go, Oh, that's actually the murder weapon or something. Except it wasn't, because unless they cut the eyes out with a necklace and that caused the bleeding, it, uh, you know. Yeah, that was a horrible thought. Okay, let's, um. Uh, let's, let's see. There's. You can't access it. It's just. I just. I, I, eyes! Um. Okay, let's just. Let's just go. Go to Frank. I like being a nice guy. This might get me in trouble one time, but. Um. Frank looks up as you approach. Were you able to find Lucy. Were you able to find Lucy's necklace? I got it right here, Frank. You can send this to her family now. Give Frank the necklace. As he takes the necklace from you, you can sense a weight lifting from Frank's shoulders. I'm glad I can do this much for Lucy. As at least, thank you, friend. I owe you. Uh, happy to help, or just make sure that it uh, gets to Lucy's family. So I don't want to turning up in some Lone Star, on Lone Star office with my prints on it. Okay. Yeah, I just I just like being nice. I'm just waiting to see if he goes, Eee, I got loads of money because of this freaking thing. Hello, junkie. Uh, hey, lady. Have you seen... Have you some extra new one? I just need some Cirque Zones from the shack over there. Uh, here's ten new one. Nutrisoy cakes will fill you up longer. Thanks, Gemma. Alright. Maybe that'll come back to help me. Maybe it'll come back to bite me in the ass. Either way, he had a gun. He had a gun, and he asked me. He didn't go, give me the stuff. He asked me. So I'm taking that as a mildly friendly thing. Come on, lady, let's go find Coyote. Okay, I'm ready. I think that's everything I had to do there. The Royale Apartments. You roll up on the most impressive bit of tenement squ and squalor you've seen in a long time. Uh, there's a few street lamps here, but what light there is flickers with uncertainty. Most of the buildings are damaged and tagged. The smell of old, rotting trash mixed with you-don't-want-to-know is overwhelming. 
It's no wonder people living here turn to BTLs. Anything better than this. The better than life chip is the newest drug on the market. You don't need a good life. You slot someone else's, live through and through them, and wreck your brain in the process. The front of the royal apartments aren't even locked. As you step inside, you can hear a junkie crying for another hit. It's time to find Coyote, and find out what she knows about the night of Sam's murder. Right. Now, before we head in there... I think we're going to end. Hope you've enjoyed, and uh, come back tomorrow for some more me bashing people's he heads in, because I'm pretty sure now we're going to start getting into more fights. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs>